Hello everyone. In this video, let us discuss what will happen if we do not overwrite equals and hash code in an object which we are going to use as a key in hash map. So to understand this concept, you need to have a basic understanding of internal working of hash map. If you are unaware of the concept of internal working of hash map, I have provided the link in the description. Please go to that video once before you are going to continue in this video. So in this video, we are going to cover three scenarios. Scenario 1. What will happen if we do not override equals and hash code? Scenario 2. What will happen if we override only equals and not hash code? And scenario 3. What will happen if you override only hash code and not equals? So we are going to discuss in detail with an example for all these three scenarios in this video. So for this example, I have created a class employee uh, which has a variable id and name and I have overridden the toString method and I haven't overridden equals or hash code. So I have another main class hash map exercise and first let me create a hash map here where the key would be employee and value would be string. Now let me create a couple of employee objects. Okay, from here I have created a couple of employee objects, both has the same value, so in this case both objects are equal. Now what I am going to do, I am going to insert the key as an employee object and I am going to give a dummy value as a string and let's check what will be the hash code and equals for this method and what the internal working of hash map will behave in this scenario. Now let us insert the values in the hash map. Uh, the key would be the employee object and the value would be a string. So what we have done here, we have created an employee object. Uh, we haven't overridden the equals and hash code. And we have created a two employee objects and we are using that as a key in the hash map. And let's see how the hash map will behave now. First, the hash map will take the key, it will calculate the hash code and based on the hash code, it will decide which bucket the value needs to be inserted. If there are no values in the specific bucket, it will insert the key and value back there. Suppose if there is an already object, already an element present in the bucket, it will take the key of both the existing element and newly inserting element, it will check for equals. If both objects are equal, it will be overriding. If both objects are not equal, it will insert a new value in the same bucket. So in this scenario, since we haven't overridden the equals and hash code, the object employee1 and employee2 would be considered as a two different objects. Even though they are same, it would be considered as a different object. Also their hash codes might be different. In this case, both these objects may get placed in different buckets in hash map. Even though if we are trying, if no, even though the hash map tries to insert in the same bucket, both employee1 and employee2, consider for an example. We are going to insert the value, both the values in the bucket 4. First entry got registered. Employee 1 with the value alpha has been inserted in the bucket 4. Now when employee 2 is trying to insert the same value in the same bucket, it will be using employee1.equals employee 2. Since equals is not overwritten, it would be a false. Again, the same key would be inserted again in the same bucket. This would be the major problem if we do not overwrite equals and hash code. The hash code would be different for the same object and the same object will be get inserted multiple times in different bucket or in the same bucket which will result in major duplicates of values in the hash map. So this is a scenario in which we covered now and we are going to look at the scenario 2 where we are going to overwrite only equals and not hash code. Let's see what will be the behavior of hash map there. Uh, to conclude the scenario 1, I will just run this code to confirm whether both objects are equal and their hash code. Yes, as you can see, both the objects employee 1 and employee 2 are not equal and even though both objects are same, their hash codes are different. So this will be the behavior in scenario 1.
So now let's move to the scenario 2 uh, where we are going to override the equals method and not the hash code. So for scenario 2, I have overridden the equals method and for now I have commented the hash code method. So let's run the same code again. So this time both objects are considered as an equal but their hash codes are different since we haven't overridden the hash code. So in this scenario, when you try to insert an element in the hash map, First, it will take the key and will calculate the hash code and based on the hash code, it will decide the bucket and it will insert the key and value pair. But since we have overridden the equals, suppose if an already key value pair exists in a specific bucket, the hash map will use the equals method to compare both the keys. If both the keys values are true, it will override the value. If it's not true, it will insert a new value. So in this scenario, the duplicate entries will be restricted in the same bucket. But since the hash code is not overridden, the same duplicate entry might be available in different different buckets. For example, the same employee 1 might be in the 4th bucket and employee 2 might be in 6th bucket. So if it's on the same bucket, since we have overridden the equals, the duplication will be avoided in the same bucket. But since the, each time we are getting a different different hash codes, the same value might get duplicated in different buckets, but not on the same bucket. So this would be the scenario 2. Now for scenario 3, let's override only the hash code and let's remove the equals overriding method and see what will be the behavior if we override only the hash code and not equals. Now for scenario 3, let us uncomment the hash code and let's comment the equals method. Let us run the code. Yeah. So since we have removed the equals code, the comparing of both the objects is resulting in a false, but their hash codes are same. So since both objects are equal, the same object will have the same hash code. So what will be the behavior of the hash map now? Same, it will take the key, it will calculate the hash code and it will decide which bucket the value needs to be inserted and it will insert the key and value pair. But in this scenario, for both employee 1 and employee 2, the bucket would be same. But since the equals is not overridden, when it's comparing the employee 1 dot employee 2 equals mother, since it's giving a false, it will insert the duplicate entry. So in this case, there might be many such duplicate entries in a single bucket. Since hash code is overridden, every time for the same object, the hash code would be same. So there won't be much duplicates in other buckets, but the duplicate will be in the same bucket. So here the both employee 1 would be inserted in the bucket and employee 2 also would be inserted in the same bucket. Both are same objects with same keys, but it's getting duplicated in the same bucket. So this would be the behavior of scenario 3. So in order to overcome all this, it's always mandatory to override equals and hash code for the hash map to work properly. So let me just uncomment this equals and let's run the code now. From the output, both objects are equal, they have the same hash code, so when you try to insert a value in the hash map in a bucket, if value is not there, it will insert the value, but if some value is there, it will be using equals to compare both the keys, and if the keys are equal, it will override the value. So this is the way the hash map actually works, and we have considered the scenarios, how the hash map will behave differently if we do not override equals and hash code. So this is about this video. So let's meet you in the next video with another different topic and let's discuss on the new topics in the next video. Thank you.